and gentlemen, please. This contest is a lightweight. Six rounds, five minutes each round. The best two, three, four. Two submissions, one knockout to the winner. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you this evening the champion at lightweight of Europe. Gentlemen, Wigan, one of your leading youngsters at lightweight, John Naylor. So just a wee slip of the tongue there from Ernest Baldwin. Of course, it's a catchweight contest because John Naylor of Wigan, the left there with the black knee bandage, is 11 stone 11. In fact, almost into the middleweights. John Naylor, Wigan. Jim Brakes, Bradford, both you boys know the 10 stone 30, Brakes, the lightweight champion of Great Britain and Europe. <laughs> Giving away nearly a stone here to Nele, over six rounds, two falls to the side. Seconds out, round one. Not too much trouble identification here. Alan Colbeck, the referee, and Naylor, of course, with the blonde hair and the lighter trunks and the knee bandage. From every angle, we should be able to tell these two. Clark, already making a little fuss. Jim Brakes. It's nice to see Jim Brakes in a contest, which is the main bout of the afternoon, as this is. Especially when he's giving it all away to that. John Naylor only just arrived in the uh, spa center a few minutes prior to this bout, and I haven't had a chance to talk to him as to why his left hand is bandaged. In fact, we didn't think he was going to make it in time for this main bout of the afternoon. Memories of a week or two back, coming to the public household. Probably had trouble in his pub, I should think, on one final. There's the bandaged left hand of John Naylor, but it looks a bit rough. <laughs> Don't know whether it's a break or not. I'll see if I can find out in the interval. to be using the hands all right but I think concentrating on the right it's just a question how much strength he's got to hold that elbow straight now It's like the first figure of the thumb, left hand, it's going to cause him a lot of trouble, I should think. crowd not quite so on break side as he would like he's always wanting the crowd to agree with him in his complaints against the, his opponent or the referee but they never seem to two falls two submissions or a knockout to decide this part Come on! 
Come on, get him, Ash. Yeah, see how good you are, Neil. Same effect as a grab at this, so you're from the side. Come on, lad. Efficient breaks move, but it's his own. Completely unorthodox. Get him, Ash. One minute to go, round one. Greg's intending to hold it as long as he's doing the damage. Now to the grovet. There is the orthodox grovet. Nicely escaped. Side headlock to Naylor. No! That's come back to brakes with that same, but this time Gravit. He's moved into the Gravit rather than the Gravit. Ground position, but right on the bell. Jimmy Briggs always complaining against everything his opponent does. But I think he's got a certain amount of uh, worry today about the weight of his opponent. And why shouldn't he? He's giving away nearly a stone here. And he is a lightweight champion. He doesn't want... Oops! Centers out, round two. Round two, five to go. Two falls to the side. It breaks in the black trunks there on the right. And trying to slow things down by the handshake. Okay, Naylor will take the handshake, but he'll go into a hole from it, as Brakes was probably going to do himself. Still complaining. For such a truly magnificent wrestler, it's a pity he has to do so much complaining. His wrestling skill should speak for itself, as it does in most cases in the lightweight bracket. Just found out from uh, John Naylor's second that the he's got quite a few stitches in that uh, left hand. Seems to be able to grip with it. He certainly can grab that ears with it. Again, that same move that Greg's tried in the last round. So successful. Yes, turning the head. This time, he's got the quarter Nelson on. Second took it. A long stretch now. Well, a 
neat way of trying it, and he's got it. Well, what about that? Breaks with without the weight, and Naylor really astonished there, but. <laughs> In fact, not too happy about something he was doing underneath. But anyway, it counts as a fall. It breaks the first fall in round two. And extremely nicky. Now, ladies and gentlemen, after three minutes of round two, with the reverse folding press at Inver, the first fall, Jim Blake. An excellent reverse folding press it was, too, right over the top there. And I don't know why Naylor couldn't get out unless Jimmy Brakes was using the hand underneath somewhere, which Naylor's complaining about. But anyway, it, it goes down as a score in round two for Brakes with four rounds to go. <laughs> Typical Jim Brace there. That's why they call him Baby. I don't know why he's making such a fuss. He's leading by a fall. saying, come on, get on with the rest, lady. Stop arguing with the ref all the time. <laughs> this time, the quarterback warning Naylor. Taking his man off the deck. So there's a little bit of... Uh, blood showing through that bandage. I hope that's not going to cause him more trouble, that uh, left-handed Nadus. Maybe some of the stitches might have split underneath there. <laughs> Still with these fellows, they don't take any notice of any things so trivial as that. They've really got to be broken up before they'll uh, cancel the appearance. He's going for it now. Okay, they're really using his right arm to affect here to avoid the possibility of Brakes grabbing the left. But it's certainly worrying him. that made a left arm locked against the joint. She's now holding with his legs, trying for a submission. He only wants one more score, but Naylor out clear, beautifully clear. <laughs> and more shots of baby from the crowd. <laughs> Naylor really laughing there, Grace not laughing. 